Hello, everyone. We are Group Seven. I am Lan Bo Yi. Today, we are going to introduce you our healthy lunchbox for P1 to P3 students. So, think about that. Back when you are a child, do you prefer a burger or a meal like this for your lunch? For me, I definitely choose the burger. However, young children don't know the nutrition of the foods. They just want to eat whatever they want. They like foods which are high in sodium, sugar, and fats, such as hamburgers, ice cream, etc. According to the Department of Health, in two thousand seventeen to eighteen, a one seventeen percent of the primary school students were overweight or obese, and they are likely to stay obese into adulthood. Also, they are in high risk of getting cardiovascular disease. Such as high blood pressure or high cholesterol, as well as other social and psychological impacts, such as low self-esteem, low confidence, and poor body image. Hello, I'm Nan Wing Moon. We always define the hamburgers as unhealthy foods because the meat is processed, which means it is full of cholesterol and sodium. Also, it is usually say served. With five potato chips that is full of oils, and there is no vegetable, fruit, and dairy products. So, what if we can make something that look as delicious as the hamburgers, but it is nutritional at the same time? Therefore, we are going to make a healthy rice burger for the students. Our rice burger is healthier version of a burger. We use freshly made chicken patty mixed with vegetables and cooked it with less oil and so. Also, we will put some fruit on the side, such as an apple. We hope that look colorful and attractive to the students. Hi everyone, I'm Anthony. Now I will introduce how to make this rice burger. Here is all the ingredients need. We divide them into five parts. You may take a look at the food need in each of them. Then it comes to the procedures. Firstly, we need to put all the rice bun ingredients and seasonings into the rice and mix well. After that. We take some rice and press into a hamburger shape. To prepare the chicken patty, we will chop onion and carrot to the smaller size. Then background salt and pepper are added and mixed well with the ground chicken. Next, we would marinate them for ten to fifteen minutes. For the chicken patty. A certain amount of mixed chicken is needed to be taken and pressed it into a hamburger shape. After that, it will be pan fried on both sides until the golden brown. Finally, all the layers are put together in order, and the vegetables are added on the side. And you may enjoy this nice burger now. Let's watch. The video about all the procedures. So we will introduce the drinks now. Our drink is called Butterfly PT. So look at we can take a look on this colorful picture. It's a more difficult version of the tea, and it has、uh, many pigment and sugar. So we are going going to do a easier and 
healthier version of the tea. Let's take a look on the ingredients of iBrice tea. So they contain 35 pea and two peas of lemon, lemon grass, stevia leaf, and honey. So here is the cooking process. Uh, it's quite simple and we can just boil the water and add the ingredient into it, the water Cook and wait for the 5 minutes Wait till the pigments release from the ingredients Then add money into a tea container and mix the tea with the honey Here is the link of how to cook the video so you may check out Hello everyone, I am Nan Chahe. Today I will talk about why the gene is good for our target P1 to P3 student. Sweet flavor is appealing, multiple price, color, a chest student. Ingredient are 100% natural with green leaf stevia and butterfly pea. Butterfly Green leaf stevia, sweetness 30 to 40 times sweeter than sugar, much more healthier than sugar, natural with no calorie. Butterfly piece is full of antioxidant and could help with cognitive function good of skin and eyes. Honey is added to increase weakness and car green dessert. First of all, both sweet flavor and uh, multiple bite color with are pleasing to children. Children usually feel happy when they have a sweet drink. The bite color gives a refreshing and energetic mood for in for ingredient all are natural with no additive the main ingredient are high nutrient butterfly peas has rich vitamin a c and e this can improve vision and is good for skin this is full of and oxidant and could help with cognitive function. For green leaf stevia, the sweet substance in nichols, this is used as a sugar alternative. This have a sweet, delicious and refreshing taste with no smell. This is ready to use with no preparation need. Honey is also high in antioxidant. This help move heating. This tastes good and is better than refined sugar. Ice bite tea can protect eyes. It can help improve or kind of eye problem. It can help in handling memory. And now I will explain why this rice burger will fit to the student and I would like to define it into four aspects which are the price, the material, the cooking method and the nutrition to explain it. You may be curious about why this burger should to the student. So let's begin with the price. And to make the burger the price is cheap so the people can afford and to buy it. And as for the cooking material, it is easy to buy it because normal people could just simply buy the material in the supermarket and also the rice burger only requires a simple cooking method which anyone can do it. And now I will explain how the nutrient fulfills the primary student daily energy requirement. And as for the burger, we have chosen to use all rice and the pearl rice combined together as uh, carbohydrate sources. And the uh, carbohydrate can provide energy for primary student daily use. And as for the fat 
resources, we have chosen to use the low fat slide cheese. And the fats and the food could help you give your body energy and support your cell growth. And as for the protein resources, we have chosen to use the chicken lamb meat because the lamb meat is healthier than other part of the chicken. And also protein could support your health growth and your muscle need. And now we will talk about the fiber. And as for the fiber sources, we have chosen to use the beetroots and the lettuce because the those two vegetables are rich in fiber and the fiber could help you to regulate your blood sugar level and to lower your cholesterol level and for the vitamin c resources we have chosen to use tomato and also tomato have uh, many benefits such as it is a antioxidant so in case you guys don't know what this antioxidant is so let me explain what is antioxidant in a simply version because antioxidants are the compound that will inhibit oxidation some free radicals surrounding you will be attack your cell and antioxidant is to prevent this happening so now let's move on to the special feature of the rice burger the special feature of the rice burger is the beach root and the red color of the beach root is came from a chemical named the beta -man. it is a strong antioxidant also it could anti-inflammatory and relieve pain and also beets have other and antioxidant called the alpha lamponic acid this compound will help to lower your blood glucose level and increase insulin. Also, the beach roof could prevent cancer and the most important thing is this beach roof can increase your sense or sense of fullness. Even you just slightly eat a small portion but you will still feel full. Hi, it's me again. I am Lambo Yi. So, do you think our advice burger is good enough to fulfill the nutritional guidelines? Let's take a look on the guidelines. The guideline consists of two parts. Part 1 is the quantity of major food items to be included in a school lunch every day. As you can see from the table, there are certain amount of recommended quantity of 5 different food groups. For the grains and cereal, it requires at least four servings and we have the white bun and at least one serving of vegetables we have lettuce, tomatoes, onion and carrot for one to two servings of meat we have the chicken patty for the fruit we have an apple on the side and of course the oil we use in the lunch box that is less than two servings Second part of the guideline is the quality of such items to be served. It consists of four parts. First, good practice to be adopted, which means we have to supply vegetables every day and use limited amount of non georgianate and healthy vegetables oils for cooking. Also, to remove all the visible animal fats and excess oil used in cooking before serving. Lastly, low confectionery and dessert is served in a school lunch. So all of that are included in our lunch box. Second, that is food items to be encouraged. That include cereals and grains or whole grains with add vegetables and fruits with high calcium ingredients. So we have the ice bun and the cheese for the encouraged food items. Third, limited food items, which means it is not allowed to serve for more than two school days per week. It includes cereal and grains with added oil and fat, fatty cuts of meat and poultry with skin, full milk dietary products, processed and preserved food, and gravy or sauce with high fat content or salt. And all of that are excluded in our lunch box. Lastly, 
food items that are strongly discouraged. It includes deep fried food, food with plant source of saturated fat and added animal fat, food with added trans fat, drink in snacks to choose less category, and food with large amount of sauce. All of that are also excluded in our lunchbox. Therefore, we hope our school lunch can help the student to develop a healthy eating habit and then to build a healthy body. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you.